Daddy. What's that, daughter? Uh, I'll be careful, Daddy. Daddy. You'll be careful, that's right. I think she's asking to drive. So here's that side-by-side uh, -side video of the two machines I was planning on doing. Been meaning to do for a while. There's a 1991. It's it's 29 years old, son. No, how old is this? Oh, that windshield? That's a year old, maybe. Because it's broke. Sure, go ahead. It's a 1991 Tundra, ski -Doo Tundra, back when they made real Tundras, not the behemoth they call a Tundra today. 250 cc's, one lung, 139 inch track, 136 or 39, I can't remember, I believe it's 15 inches wide. Uh, leaf spring front suspension. It does have shocks and coil springs in the back. 2000, 2009 Yamaha VK Pro. Big old wishbone suspensions. The shocks in the front. And this has got an open rear suspension. They went away from this afterwards. It was a smart idea to go away from it. But it's got that big torsion spring over the shock there. Um, yes, Lee? What are you doing? I'm doing a video. Ugh. Big old wide, long ass track. It's got exposed under seat exhaust. And it's got a heat exchanger under there. If you were to stud this up, you'd have to be real careful to maintain track tension, maybe build a shield or something. Keep the studs or screws from tearing stuff up under there. Oh. Now we're gonna get to the real meat and potatoes of this side-by-side -side comparison. Under here, we've got a 973. You can just call it a 1,000 cc four-stroke liquid-cooled beast. I don't know how many horsepower it's got going on there. Only electric start. The battery is buried under the air box. It's got three carburetors. The are carburetors? yes, those are carburetors. Oh, the geez, spark so plugs are buried under there. Oh, Long, long uh, coupler or whatever, a spark plug cap to reach down into the engine block where the spark plug actually is. It's got a radiator. It sucks cool air through the hood and blows it ar through a shroud over the fuel tank. Can you get off of the seat there, son? Sure. And that warm air goes through the under seat storage, they advertised it as heated seats. It's a, it's a poor idea. The tool kit, I got my jack holding the seat up. It's an articulated, it's, it's an articulated spark plug wrench to get, to get in there. It's a mess to try to pull the plugs on this thing it really is i don't even know where the starter is on it it does have leads coming out to the battery box here's our uh, oil pan it's got a sensor on it it's uh it really is smarter than i am which ain't saying much i didn't know i could do this yeah you can I never thought I could do it. Why is there, is there only Here's the, the meat and... Why is there only what? There's supposed to be two. On that one, there's two. On this one, there's only one. He's talking about the hood keeper. Here we've got a real, real utility machine that even a village mechanic like myself, a poor village mechanic like myself, can work on. One spark plug right on top. <clears throat> One cylinder. 
fan cooled. Uh, fire. Fire, Daddy. There's two belts. Fire, One right Daddy. there for the fan. No, that's not a belt. What the hell? Where's the other belt? Oh, it's in here. Two belts. One in here for the fan. One in here for the drive. Only pull start. Now these Tundras, they were known for having a little bit of a weak, weak recoil system. So you got to be gentle with it. There's just not that much to go wrong on this thing. Guess you can't quite start it yet, huh? Here, let's close the hood, turn it on its side so we can look at the... The bottom? Look at the suspension. Because turning this one on its side isn't a problem. Unlike the VK. Okay, let's find a place I can grab it one-handed. Accidentally stopped the video. We got to turn it back on its side. Grab on, grab on. One, two, three. Okay, see it's a leaf leaf spring and shock front suspension. That one seems to be working. It helps keep it from breaking, it absorbs the bumps. We got four torsion springs, one here, one on the other side. One here, one on the other side, and one shock in the back. It's probably got like four inches of travel in the back. It's not super comfy. And uh, that's it. It's a simple, light utility machine back when they actually made utility machines. This thing, on my best day, when it's dry, I can pick up the back end. But once it gets a bunch of snow and wet underneath there, I can't. I don't take this bastard anywhere without a jack, a shovel, and a rope and rope along. And the only reason I'm using a small spade is because it's springtime. The snow is wet and heavy. Okay, I'll help. All right, on three. On three. One, two, three. Step out of the way, step out of the way. Don't let it fall on you. All right. Lee, you want to drive the white one? Okay. You want to ride the white one with brother? I'll let her go in front of me. Okay, we'll switch riders. I'll take Lee, you take sister. One thing I forgot to mention is that Big Red Machine has got forward, reverse, and low gear pretty awesome <coughs> until it's stuck this one has got one one gear forward the kids are going to take some Can video of me playing off the road you're welcome to try okay look man